God bless you and keep you as always. Um, this is Pastor Jimmy from La Paz, Bolivia. How are you this morning? The Lord has allowed great promises to people of God. And God, you know, uh, when He explains, when our Father God explains about His people, He has expressed in a certain way. Often He has called as a people of Zion, uh, which is Zion means God's mountain, a hill that we should approach to. And um, there's a certain beautiful way, uh, it's like a poem from God. Yes, our Father is a our father, he's an amazing poet, I believe. And often he decides who to see that and who not to see that. Why? Because God is holy and holy God and he wants his holy people to be with God and, and, and be allowed to understand God's holy intention wholesome intention, glorious intention. And yes, it is true that we cannot become holy by ourselves. We can be only holy and sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ, which is God's great atonement for us. God's amazing sacrifice that represents His love. You know, sacrifice. Yes. Divine sacrifice needs divine love, amen? But there are many out there who misunderstand and also they are uh, evil, the devil, the Lucifer, Satan, uh, we also call him. And his followers uh, try to deceive many people. And they say, well, uh, you, don't you don't need uh, love to have a power. You don't need love uh, to have a blessing. You don't need love to be set free. But truth is, uh, love of God, when it becomes actual action, not just understanding, but when it becomes action with the response, responsibilities, the action that wants to do the responsible things, for the love and cause of the love and with the love of God, then they become holy. Yes, there are some sectors, some different kind of a, a group of people out there who also believe that, you know, without love but just religious, religious thoughts that can be interesting minds towards a spiritual uh, realm somewhere. But not love, not with the love, not with the responsible actions towards love. But just the religious the thoughts and minds. Superior, somehow, if they can obtain superior religious minds or ideas or, or state, they can achieve power and, and fame and whatever, right? See, that's from Satan, that's from evil. But for the people who understand the value of love of God, and we are, by the way, we are also created by God's hand, God's, his, God's own hands, which is hands of love. <laughs> so if we follow the flow that how God created the whole universe, if we are in it, and not going against the flow of God, and between those who follow the intention of God, God choose. Yes. And God allows chance and opportunity to get closer to God and let them come near to the mount, mountain of God. You know, it's, it's a metaphor. Yes. Presence of God. And He strengthened them, He set, he set them free and build them, rebuild them, restore them, renew them to glorify God Himself. And also they will nourish their God's glorious moments 
together in Christ as one body that we call God our Father. Yes, and we are born again by own, by God's own intention. Isn't that beautiful? Let me read the uh, book of Joel, uh, chapter 2, uh, from verse uh, 23, and go on. It's beautiful, beautiful promise that he has given us once again today. Let me read it to you. Be glad, O people of Zion. So now, now you know why I explain about the Mount Zion, people of Zion. Be glad, O people of Zion, which is true believers, amen. Rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the autumn rains in righteousness. He sends you abundant showers, both autumn and spring rains as before. Wow. Okay. There's a season. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter, right? Let's say there's a four seasons. But uh, the spring season is where that uh, God allows the rain, he says. You know, for you, my people, my children, there's a season, okay? Uh, there's a season that you should uh, plant seed, okay? And it's a season of spring. I don't know if we see it that way or not, but that's what God says. And he's always right. So he says, well, there's a spring season. So we have to do our part. What, what is that? Yes, planting the seeds, gathering the seeds. Uh, you know, soften the soil. <laughs> yes. Prepare. And God says, well, I will give you beautiful rain, spring rain. Never lack enough right abundantly yes more than enough but truth is he doesn't scatter seed for you and I like that's our job it's your job and my job we have to scatter seed so it has to be those who are sensitive to know the seasons yes and it has, we have to be the one who willing to see the seasons and, and follow God amen and God says wow you know what you are my people, you are my children. You see me, you hear me, and you do what I ask you to do, right? And I will, I will give you blessing of a spring rain. Okay, then summer passes by. Summer, as you know, there's a, a amazing sun, right? In hot, sunny days. What do we have to do? Well, we have to still work and toil, right? For the glory of God, it's good toil. Yes, once we do that, and when there's plenty of sun and it starts to grow amazingly, right? But it has to be right. For the right and autumn season, God will give amazing, amazing autumn rain. Hmm, I wonder what season you are in right now. Well, for me, in Bolivia, I think it's a spring season. I mean, it's, I'm not talking about the season season, but I'm talking about season of God. Amen. So we are scattering the seeds, planting the seeds, and I believe God allows just enough rain every day. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, let me just go on continuously. Once again. Be glad, O people of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord your God, for He has given you the autumn rains in righteousness. He sends you abundant showers, both autumn and spring rains as before. The threshing floors will be filled with the grain, and vets will overflow with new wine and oil. Praise God. I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. The great locusts have the young locusts, and other locusts and the locusts swarm. My great army that I sent among you. Wow, you know what? There was a time there were a lot of locusts. You know, locusts. They were, when they, like the army of locusts, when they sweep you by, what happened? Nothing remains, right? But God also says, well, for the people of Zion, sometime by God's divine plan, he, he allows that. So, but what does God do to us? He let us persevere. Yes, He let us go through. 
Yes, He let us become more strong. But when time comes, when, when God's promise comes, because you remain as people of Zion, which means you remain to glorify God and no matter what season you are in, God says, remember, but now I'm going to let you be flourished with the oils and honeys and, and all the fruits that I have promised you. So, I guess we have to see the different seasons. There may be time of locust, even, uh, and God called it, it's the army of God, right? But for the people of Zion, for true believers, and just religious people, I guess, not really believer, believer, but they will have a different uh, manners and different uh, a mindset to go through those seasons. Trust God, amen. Let us trust God. Trust God with everything that we have. Trust God with all we are. And trust and follow Him, amen. And this is for those who trust God. And this is the promise of God once again. He says, I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten, the great locusts and the young locusts, and the other locusts and the locust swarm, my great army that I send among you. You will have a plenty to eat until you are full. And you will praise the name of Lord your God, who has worked wonders for you. Amen. Yes, he has done for you and I, didn't he? Yes. For the Father's Warehouse in, in the Beulah, Mexico, the Fabo Judeo in Brazil, and now ABC, Amor for Para Cristo. Amor Bolivia Crianza, in a way, huh? In Bolivia as well. He always keeps his promises. And he said, You will praise the name of Lord your God. Who has worked wonders for you never again will my people be shamed then you will know that i am in israel which means you and i right israel israel means one who holds on to god no matter what we let everything go except god amen yes that i am lord your god and that there is no other never again Will my people be shamed? Yes, God bless you and keep you this morning once again. And I, I encourage you and I once again to see the season. But be your Israel. Yes, grab onto God's promises. Never let God go. Amen. And expect the great spring rain and autumn rain. Yes, and it will be flourished for the glory of God. Amen. God bless you and keep you from La Paz, Bolivia. Shalom.